What's up, guys? Welcome back. Alright. And... Fiddleheads. Yeah. And there's a Trant over there. Those are all the same size. We're still looking for the double, double wide one. Defeated. And bottomless roots. And then curve. Hey, stop attacking my chicken. Bad. Bad. Gigantic ape. Get an acorn. And get leaves. This one has any branches. That's the one I need. Stupid baboon, get out of here. Ah, there it is. Lucky root. Cool, and super strong monsters appear. Focus on this. God damn it. Things keep. Oh my god. Alright, now I can focus on you. Yeah, right here is the like, this is the cheat. Just get him on a ledge, so that way you can attack him and he can't attack you. Oh, until he falls off then. Dead, just fall over. Stop attacking me. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, okay. I need to run away. I need to run away. I don't know what the fudge is Malra doing. Attacking things that are not really essential. You need to be attacking this stupid thing. Alright, they're dead, Malra. Focus on the main target. Not even attacking you, and I'm still being attacked. Oh, got an annoyance. All right, Rika, what we learn? Oh yeah, leather shield. Yay! Which I never understood about the leather shield, since it's a leather shield, better than the pot lid, but it gives less defense than the pot lid. How does that make any sense? All right, so all that's left is to find the new food, which is this stuff right here. Agravats. Seeds. Do not pound the chicken. <laughs> Hammer, meat chicken. <laughs> Grab a couple of seeds. Here. There's one over there, one there. Oh, there's one over there. That's pumpkin. Way over here. So we defeated the two mini bosses on this island. Chicken, what are we missing now? We are missing a big, big tree. Our best place to find it is probably going to be over here. Now we're missing rock, rock, and an anthill. There's the ant hills. Pestilence nest. Which just spawns an infinite amount of ants. That's all it does. I remember how annoying finding the two story trees were. Ah, dang it, it's like we found one, but it's not green. And then we need to find moss colored rocks and stone. Those are actually, if I remember correctly, are over here. I remember we're in the swamp area. In the house. What's up? My camera so badly. Can't believe I walked past them. Yay! Infinite supply of wood.
There's one. Massy rat. And Mossy Stone. Woohoo! Drake Rest now! Cool. This island is now finished. All I need to do is find at least two more chickens. So we can have some eggs. Oh, cool. And I hear another one over there. Chicken. Cool. We got three chickens now. And then we got three chickens. I think we're done for the island. We don't really need to see anything else. We got everything. We got the two bosses. The only time we'll have to come back here is when we have to recruit monsters, but we don't, there's really no point of doing it on this game. Right, or I should say on this save file. Yeah, alright. Let's head back. There's, there's no secret chests or anything on any of these islands. Explore shores, me three lands. They shifty change every after a visit. If you left something behind, it won't be here when you come back. You sure you want to return to the Island of Awakening? When you travel to an island, save your data. Yes, 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 yes. There she blows. We sail for home. Yahar. All aboard a free trip aboard. Time does it sail. That didn't take longer than I... It took a lot less longer than I thought it was going to. And then featuring everyone's beautiful... Crafting skills. That's actually really pretty. And really cool looking. Hmm. That's kind of cool too. Someone built a, uh, like a destroyed dojo. Multiple waterfalls. And we got three chickens! The chickens head to Green Gardens. We're back. I've got to say that is one obedient chicken. Let's go and show Perry. Well, you uh, we take a lot of business here. I'll hold the city to keep you out as well as my islands. Ah. I've heard the rumblings of another enormous one lurking out there into the open seas. Same size as Hurlfield. Give me a give or take a fathom. I'm as certain as pirates hate boaty waters. That come in pairs, that this place is inhabited. Maybe you could find some new mats and material, new mates and materials there. Oh, I love how he went from being an actual pirate to like a Scottish and Irish section, so. Another island on Fairfoot, eh? <laughs> Sounds like it'll be the start of a whole new adventure. Can't wait to check it out. Give me knees up when you're ready to set sail. I have always anchored here except when I'm not. What's that rumbling sound? That's Perry. Well, look who it is. Perry's come to check if we found the fowl. Let's show him the chicken and rub it in his face. And the chickens are set up. Oh, 
first, before I do anything, we need to do this. Is I found a little tip. If you don't put the chickens in a cage, they literally will do anything. You will have eggs everywhere on your island, which is not a good thing. Um, I can't make a bed for them yet, can I? Nope. But I can do this. Name tag. Three. That and the gate. Get rid of this, get rid of this. to do some like this place Chicken one. Chicken's room. And make this number chicken number two. Because if you don't do this, the chickens will literally roam and sleep everywhere on the map. And then the downfall is whenever they wake up, they lay an egg. So you'll have like eggs everywhere on this egg scrape. Eventually, later down the road, you'll get, um, like, beds that you can put inside these and make them bigger, and they'll sleep inside the beds and all that, so. Well, it's dark time, so let's sleep. And then we'll go talk to Perry. I'm really surprised that they didn't put that, like, right in the beginning. Beds for the... Oh, they did right here. Recruit animals to the Island of Awakening. Okay, so I need to recruit another animal before I can unlock it. Dang it. Because we only re recruit chickens. We have to recruit something else. Well, uh, technically, do we... Oh, we do not have enough. Okay. It's like, technically, we could... Go to the other island, see if that island has anything, but we need 300 hearts to get to the other island. Oh, we got enough. Sweet. Cool. Well, like I said, this episode will just finish the two islands, so. Alright, 
let's go see what the other island has for us. Explorer Shores, Blossom Bay. Let's begin. So, ooh. so it's mostly fl Oh, doggies! Yep, oh, I forgot. This one has dogs. Cool. So we got grass, so it's like literally flowers and everything green. And trees. Ooh, and a cherry blossom. Earth. Yaha! Nothing in the water, right? Nope. Oh, nice. We made it all the way here. That was very rare. <clears throat> Medical shrubs, which are like the best thing to ever make. A plant, because the fact that. You get a shh. And there's a saber kitty. Saber kitty. Oh, we got the big one right off the bat, right out of the bat. And twig right off the bat. And then get the stub. And then lumpy umber. And big one. And then eat something because apparently I'm starving. Got strawberries on this one. Ooh, oh, wow, there's a cherry blossom. And a kitty. Attack the kitty! The reason why I say attack the kitty poor is because the kitties have a chance of dropping leather. And we're gonna need a lot of leather soon. Pink flower, cherry blossom. Yay! Here's cabbage, which we do not need. Yeah! Cherry blossom. Grab them while we can. Just rocks and the blue flowers, but luckily there's one right here. We just need a blue, and now we need white, white with butterflies, yellow, and a green. Ooh, kitty. Kitty! Yep, there it is. There's a piece of leather or fur. 
Not leather, fur. That's what it is. Up there, Oops, except for here. There's the water lily. These you can't grab, even though you want one. You can only grab them later, towards the end game, when you have the hammer that allows you not to destroy anything, or it allows you to pick up the item you destroy. Normally, it, it right now it literally does not. It literally what you destroy, you get nothing out of these, which sucks. Later, you can grab you can grab these items. The Daffodilly. Grab a couple. Get out of here. And then the sugar cane. Get, I get attacked. Bunch of blue ones up top. <gasps> it's a doggy. We got a doggy. Wait till the doggy turns around. <laughs> we got our poachers. We got our poachers. Big one. Large lily pad. Get it. Ow. Yay. Gotta, learn, gotta love the insta-kill insta effect on these things. Uh, those are pink flowers and more cabbages. Which we need neither of. Okay, get your... Come here. Back here, you kitty. I think we're going this way. Cause we're missing a lot. Oh, I need to get a plum berry. I think there's one right over here. Pristine plumberry. Infinite cord and in infinite rope and infinite leather, I think, or line, something like that. Ow! Red kitty. What do we need? We still need white, white, and green, and tomatoes. Which are right over here. Yay! Huh? And wheatgrass, which we could. Oh, that's what. I was like, I heard a roar! Another, another saber kitty. Ow. Like saber kitty. Cool. So this stuff, you see any of this stuff, immediately take it because you're gonna need this for the chickens and all of your like farm animals. So the chickens, the sheep, the 
Um, the cows, because this is what they eat. You plant it inside their pens. And they munch on the stuff. That's their food. Well, the dogs that we have near, well, with the poochers, we, uh, they, we need to give them meat. Scrumptious, yummy meat. There's another poochers. Let's go grab them. There's another saber kitty, too. Grab this dogger. We got two. <laughs> Now we got two best friends. Now we're gonna go kill. Oh, and there's one of the bosses. We so we'll leave the boss for the next the next episode. So that'd be a perfect intro for the next episode. Ow! That's kitty. I will give you a heads up. The odds of the kitties dropping fur are very very low. Don't know why, but they just love dropping the the fish more than anything. All right, guys. All right, guys. So stay tuned for next week's episodes of Dragon Quest Builders Two.